Boxing King Media in association with Box Row. Got with us today, Carl Samson. Carl, yeah. you're about to set off on your pro journey. Yeah. Bit of a different one. You're doing it on the road. Yeah. So just for the fans out there, just give a bit of an introduction uh, of yourself. My name's Carl Samson. I'm going to be fighting at between lightweight and super featherweight. I'm an ex-amateur boxer. I had 50 bouts, one more stream. But in the professional ranks, I'll be going on the road. Sweet. Uh, how old are you, Carl? 27. 27. So you're turning pro at 27, and you're going to gamble it all, go on the road, and be willing to take on all the upcoming prospects around the country. So what's led you to that decision? I don't know. Maybe I had five, six years out of boxing, fell out of love with it, fell back in love with it, started training. Wanted to turn pro, but I work full time, so selling tickets, training, I'm working. It's just not an ideal life. So for me, going on road, boxing regular against the best prospects in the country and getting paid. And I enjoy doing it, you know what I mean? I'm not just in it for the money. I love boxing and then I'm getting paid as well, so it makes more sense to me. And that's the name of the game, isn't it? Obviously, your dad's a trainer, he's got Dante Dixon, Shaq Thompson, loads of other young upcoming prospects around Sheffield. It's a, it's a really buzzing yeah. gym, so was it a temptation to maybe try, you know, try the route in, in, in the red corner? Maybe maybe five years ago, like I said, yeah. That, not the ambition that's gone, it's just, I don't know. I ain't got long left in it. I don't want to be boxing much over 30. I want to get as many fights in as I can. I'll enjoy it, I think, and I'll earn money, so I'm happy really doing that. And I'm not just going to be a walkover. I'm going to be, I'm, I'm here to test these prospects, you know what I mean? And if, they, if they're not good enough, then maybe they're going to get beat. I don't know, see what happens. Because that is gonna, was going to be my next question. So what can the fans expect to see from you? Are you going to turn up, tuck up and just take it for four rounds? Or are you a bit slick and are you going to be looking to win rounds and cause upsets? I'm looking not to get it get it as, as less as I can. So yeah, maybe slick. And like I said, if the guy's not up to the job, then he might end up taking his defeat. And uh, what's your current management situation? Because obviously when you're going on the road, the key element for any boxer on the road is having a good manager so uh, who's in your corner yeah I've got Carl Greaves my manager he's out there now trying to get me a deb it's just hard to get the first fight get the ball rolling on the road like not many lads want to take the risk of fighting a debutant especially when you've got a decent amateur background and like you said the gym itself it's just packed with talent so I think when people's looking at that they're not really willing to to put their lads in with me but Hopefully he's the man that can get me the fights, he's pushing for it, so hopefully I'm hoping to box maybe last week in February. Let's see what happens. Just so the fans who, who don't understand, you know, boxing on the road so they can try and understand, why do you think you're struggling to get that first fight? Basically, these guys that are fighting at home corners, they're selling the tickets, they're earning the manager's money, the promoter's money, the manager doesn't want to risk them getting beat, they don't want to get beat in front of all the fans, so... It's just the risk to taking it. There's easier fights out there, established journeymen that come. They may have won 10 and lost 80 or 100, you know what I mean? Possibility of them winning is very low. So to fight me, it's just a risk that I don't think they're willing to take at the minute. Hopefully, this one will give me the opportunity. But let's see. And just out of boxing, Carl, what is it you do in day-to-day -day life? Have you got a full-time job? Yeah. I'm a plasterer, self-employed, so that works well for me. I can mix my training with my work and stuff. And I've got three kids, three children, one at eight, one at six and one at five, so the rest of my time is devoted to them, really. And what's the missus saying about you going around and hopefully not getting your head punched in? I don't think she's too happy, but she backs me whatever I do, so, yeah, she's she's supporting my, my choice, you know what I mean? So I don't think she'll be coming to watch. Basically, I don't think she's into that, but yeah, she's happy with me doing it. She's supporting me, but she's not happy at the same time. I don't know. Well, no matter what happens, then it's good for you to like follow your dream because your dream's probably always been to get in that ring. You know, for different reasons, you obviously you've not done it. So whether it's on the road or in the home corner, uh, I hope you get to enjoy the experience of you know doing that ring walk and just getting in the ring and doing your thing. Yeah, I have, obviously I had my first my first contest when I was 11 year old. Everyone's dream as a kid is to box professional. Everyone dreams of being a world champion, don't they? A British champion, but stuff happened in life. I had kids young. I got a bad injury when I was 19. What put me out of, put me out of action for a while. 
and then obviously since then it's been hard to build back up so are you able to talk about that injury is there anything yeah, you can share yeah i got i got stabbed when i was 19 new year's eve just out in a local pub bit of a random attack basically but i got stabbed in my femoral artery which is pretty bad yeah had a life and death experience basically but managed to pull myself together and now i'm fit and healthy and well so knowing a little bit about injuries that's pretty serious that Very and serious. how on earth did you survive that well doctors couldn't really explain how i survived it they were just maybe just blessed fortunate i don't know but yeah that was the that was the outcome of from the doctor the next day well the surgeon i i even went to see the surgeon that operated and he says basically you're a miracle i don't know how i survived but for a reason so probably my children i don't know <laughs> but yeah and did they ever catch the person that did it yeah yeah he got done he got he got prison sentence so was it a good sentence not really no <laughs> three years not very good is it not too long not for it were life and death situation you know i were lucky i didn't most people would have i think survival rate isn't very high for that injury so no it's not a good sentence really but it is what it is you just get on with life don't you and then move forward forget about it it's done that's the past i know you said to me earlier you've got a quite um, intriguing life story i wouldn't expect you need to say that so um you're obviously going to be an inspiration to your kids and people that know you so the fact that you shouldn't be sat here right now, which is a bit of a miracle in itself, and you're going to be hopefully walking out making your professional debut uh, in the next month or so, uh, I definitely do wish you the best and hope you have a really good career on the road. Yeah, thank you very much, and hopefully everyone gets to see what I'm about. I'm not, like I said, not just coming to make numbers. I'm coming to maybe pull a few wins together. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. And you never know, because I've seen journeymen before cause upsets and before you know it, they're in, they're in title fights. Yeah, you never know. You never, ever know. It only takes two or three good wins to come and you could be fighting for a central area, maybe in English. It's happened before, so who's to say not? I reckon I'm good enough. Just like I said, there's the ticket selling and stuff like that. It's just an hard game to be in. It's easier to do it. For me, it's easier to do it this way, I think. This is what I believe I want to do right now, so it suits me. As long as it makes you happy, Carl, that's the most important thing. I just believe that in boxing there should be more opportunities for people like me, you know, who's willing to go in the away corner, get the fight. You should be able to pick up the wins. You should be able to box with titles, you know, rather than just the guys that are selling the ticket. That's all it's about these days. If you've got the name and you sell the tickets, you're basically going to be there. If you can't do that, then no one really wants you. It's, it's a hard road. It's a hard game to be in. But let's see. It is, mate, and there are some stories out there of guys in your situation ended up fighting for titles, and before you know it, their life's changed. Like, for example, an Ultimate Boxer series pops up, they need a last minute replacement, anything can happen. So, as long as you're always fit, I'm pretty sure an opportunity will come your way. Yeah, 100%. I'm always fit, I'm always in gym, ready. So, like I said, whenever the phone rings, I'll, I'll take any fight, basically. And just to wrap up, what date can the fans expect to see you make your debut? Well, I'm scheduled to fight on 18th of March so far at the Magna in Rotherham. So that's my first schedule, but I'm hoping to get maybe one in before then. I'm looking maybe last week in February, if my manager can get that for me. If not, then obviously we look forward to 18th of March, get the ball rolling. Carl, I wish you all the best and uh, we'll definitely be following your journey at Boxing King Media. Thank you very much.